Good morning. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Genesis 10. This is sometimes referred to as the Table of Nations. This might seem a little anticlimactic coming from uh, chapter 9, which was so much uh, information. We spent several days going over all of the uh, different theological concepts that are presented there. And chapter 10 just kind of seems like a genealogy when you read through it. But as I said, this is referred to as a table of nations, and it's a little bit of a foreshadowing that the writers of Scripture are trying to show us and give us uh, what will happen in the next chapter. Chapter 11, the Tower of Babel, is the people will be dispersed. Chapter 10 tells us how they were dispersed and where they end up. So as I said, it's a, a foreshadowing that's going on here, not always chronological. But Japheth, three of Noah's sons, Japheth, Ham, and Shem, kind of spread out and set up their uh, kingdoms, if you will. So. The Japheth goes to, to the north, where, which will eventually be the promised land of Israel. Ham, who uh, received the curse from Noah for his actions, uh, will end up being Egypt. And Ham's grandsons will form Babylon and Assyria. The point here being to show us that uh, this godly line, there's this, this war all throughout Scripture of, these, of the godly line versus the ungodly line. The godly seed in Cain and Abel. And then uh, God restores uh, Seth, right? And then we see an intermarriage here and intermingling and, and, and uh, God destroying the earth because of wickedness. And once again, uh, Ham will represent and his descendants are at war with the rest of Noah's sons, if you will, in, in, in throughout history of uh, really they produce ungodly seed and the, uh, the rest are the Israelites are to produce godly seed. So we see this kind of theme all throughout scripture of of lineage, and it's not necessarily by birth, but it's by practice, right? What each person uh, practices in their own life, they pass that on to their children. And this is an important lesson for us to learn as believers, right? We're to be uh, a godly line. We're, we're children of uh, Abraham, is what the scripture tells us, in a spiritual sense, if we have trusted in Christ. So we're to be this godly line and pass the faith and godly practices and beliefs and lifestyles onto our children. Lastly, we see Shem, uh, which is going to lead to the nation of Israel forming. And these are the three sons and kind of lineages that we'll see uh, in this chapter. But again, to this point of giving us an understanding of why and how uh, these kind of divisions happen and occur and why there is enmity and there'll be continued en enmity till the end of time between uh, the godly line versus the ungodly line those who follow christ those who worship god and those who don't and have other idols and are after power and fame and all of these other things which god tells us not to seek after